Hello everyone. In this episode I will look into a really useful module, the Voltage Control Amplifier, or VCA for short. I'm using a classic design made by Ray Wilson, the Linlog Dual VCA from the website Music from Outer Space. This implementation is based around the LM13700 OTA, so you will get two VCAs in one package. Some other great things about this design is that it has both linear and log modes and you can easily switch between them. And it's also DC coupled, so can use them for CV as well as for audio. I have made some small additions to the design by adding a CV amount put so you can adjust the CV sensitivity as well as the offset. Another small tweak is that I use a three-way switch so I can mute the control input to the OTA. And I also normaled the inputs of the second channel to the first one. So I started this project by building one channel on a breadboard to check how it works and also to test the modifications that I was planning to do. And as you can see, the log and lin modes works fine. Next step was to build the module and I used my regular design pattern with one main PCB where both the SMT and through hole components are placed and one PCB panel that is held in place using the nuts from the pots and jacks and switches. The through hole components that I use are therefore placed on both the component side and the top side of the PCB which makes it a rather compact module that is very skiff friendly. I started the build by hand soldering all the SMT components to the component side of the PCB. You can do this uh, in any order like uh, lowest component first, but I prefer to solder the discrete semiconductors and the ICs first and continue with the capacitors and resistors after that. I also use a marker pen and a printout of the bill of material to keep track of which component that I have soldered already. After that it's time to solder the through hole components to the component side of the PCB, like the power connector, capacitors and the multi-turn trimmers. Please observe that there are two values for the trimmers, 2K and 100K. Next step is to solder the components on the top side of the PCB, starting with the tool trimmers, toggle switches and jacks. Use the front panel as a guide and hand tight the nuts for the jacks and the switches. And make sure that everything is properly aligned before you solder them. One good tip is to solder only one leg of the tool trimmers and check that the shafts rotate without problems. If everything is okay, then you can proceed by soldering the rest of the legs. Alright, with that done, the module is finished and the next step is to calibrate the module. And there is a very good description of that on the Music from Outer Space website. The first step is to trim the DC offset of the output. And to do that you need to turn the CV amount put down to zero. Put the channel in linear mode. Connect the multimeter to the center pin or wiper of the CV offset toggle trimmer. Adjust the toggle trimmer until it's as close as possible to zero, preferably better than plus minus one millivolt. Now connect the multimeter to the signal output and trim the 100k multi-turn trimmer so you get as close as possible to zero. Next step is to adjust the CV bleed on the output and to do that you need to connect the 100Hz square wave to the CV input and turn the CV amount pot to max. You should see the 100Hz signal on the signal output and now adjust the 2K multi-turn trimmer until it's as low as possible. After that you repeat the procedure for the other channel. And with that the module is calibrated.